Good morning, class. Before we start, may I request everyone to please stand up for our prayer. Okay, thank you. Before you sit down, please kindly pick up some pieces of papers under your chair. Okay, now, before we start, this may I introduce you first our classroom rules. Our classroom rules. Rule number one, respect each other. Rule number two, listen attentively. Rule number three, raise your hand when you want to talk. Rule number four, work quietly and do not disturb others. Now, who can still remember? Uh, no, rather, uh, do you have any suggestions and clarifications to our classroom rules? Okay, if there's none, now let's proceed. Now, who can still remember for our last topic? Okay, Angela? Yes. Our last topic is all about nouns. Then, what is noun all about, Marco? Okay, nouns defines names of a place, things, persons, and it is a part of speech. Noun is one of the part of speech. What is what is the other part of speech? A noun, a pronoun, and a verb. Okay. Now, before we continue, may I uh, let's have some quick recap about nouns. Okay, now, let's have a quick recap. Uh, in this sentence, sentence number one, the marksman aimed at the enemy image is arrow. Notice the uh, noun their class. Yes, Angela? Okay, the word marksman is a noun. How about the enemy? Is it a noun? Yes, it is a noun. How about an arrow? It is a noun? Yes. An arrow is a thing that we use, uh, for example, a bow. It is to use to hunt an animal. Am I right, class? So it is a name of a thing. Now, in sentence number two, the fighter shared the roaming hero their gold. Now, what part of speech fighter is? Yes, driver? Yes. A fighter is a noun, a uh, part of speech. A fighter fighter is a noun. And how about the gold? What part of speech the gold is? Yes, lovely? Okay. A gold is a noun. It is part of a uh, part of speech. Okay. Now, let's proceed to sentence, sentence number three. The tank hero provided their teammates a protective shield. What do you mean by a protective shield? What it is? What part of speech it is? It is a verb or a noun? Yes, it's a noun. Now, we're talking about noun. Now, let's proceed. I will group you into three. Three groups. Okay? You're only doing is two. Sing, listen, and write. Okay. The group one will be this side. The group two will be the middle row. And the group three will be the last row. Now, are you ready, class, in our first activity? Okay. Let's proceed and start our activity. Okay, class. Now, after watching, I will gonna show you a video. Now, after watching a video, uh, you're going to take note, class. Take note, listen the lyrics and what it is all about. I'm going to distribute a manila paper and you are going to write your answer on the appropriate column. Okay, class, are you ready? Timer starts now. Okay, class, time's up. Present all your output in the board. Okay, let's proceed to the group one. Okay, the group one has List down a word, some for some of the lyrics, okay, let's have a barangay clap. Okay, let's proceed to the group two. Oh, the group two also has list down a uh, same word, same lyrics to the group one. Now, let's proceed to the group three. Okay, it's just the same. Now, are you ready, class? No. And if you are ready now, may I uh, introduce you our learning objectives. Our learning objectives now, please read. Okay, thank you. 
Our learning objectives at the end of the lesson, the students are expected to identify an active and passive voice in the sentence, create an action using the passive and active voice, share your experience using the passive and active voice. Now, are you ready for our first activity class? Okay, now, our first activity is entitled, Say What I Did. Direction to five representatives in each group will be selected to be the actors of the day using the objects given to you. You will have to make an action using it. Are you ready, class? If you are ready, now the same group. Now, for the group one, there should be one representative. For the group one representative, it should be the chalk. The group two, group two representative, the bottle of water. The group 3 representative is the ball. The group 4 representative is the handkerchief. Now, your group member will be called to describe what the actors portrayed in describing. You must first state the name of your group mates who represent your group. Are you ready, class, for this first activity? In this activity, you are only given one minute to prepare and choose your group representative. Now, your timer starts. Now, time is up. Now, I want the group five will be the first to perform and so on. Wow, all the groups have performed well and well coordinated. Now, from your activity, you are given five set of different things. A chalk, ball, handkerchief, broom, and a bottle of water. Now, class, aside from those different set of things, Share me your experience of your life that relates in our topic. Yes, Angel, a nice experience, Angel. Now, every one of us has a different kinds of experiences. Some are bad, some are wonderful. How about giving an example of a passive and active voice that relate to our subject? Now, from the example that was given by your classmate, my mother bought me a beautiful dress. And we dance, the Galap Filipinas is an active voice because the manner and we is the subject and the vice and dance is a verb and the word dressed and Galap Filipinas is a server of the action. Now your classmate has a point because active voice asserts that the person or thing represented by the, by the grammatical subject performs the action by the verb. Now, from these two examples, the dress was bought by my mother and the Galap Filipinas was danced by us is a passive voice. The dress plus was plus bought plus by plus my mother. Now, now what did you notice from the given example class? Yes, you really noticed it exactly. Now, I will be going to give you the exact management, arrangement rather, of a passive voice. Receiver of the action is the dress and was or where is a past tense, past participle of the verb, plus by, by is the prepositional phrase, and lastly the subject. Now I will give you an uh, example of the active voice. Rinzo holds a flower. Now where's the uh, subject of this sentence class? Yes. Renzo is the subject of the sentence. What is the subject class? The subject is the doer of the action. Now, where's the verb of the sentence class? Yes, the holds. The holds. Then, where's the subject? A subject is the flower. Now, we're going to uh, change the sentence into a passive voice. Now, it will get, become like a flower is held by Renzo. Now, a flower becomes the receiver of the action. Now, is hailed, been, being, or past participle, plus by, then the last one, the subject, the doer of the action is the predicate. Now, class, from your deep understanding, what can you say about the example? Anyone from the class? Yes, hope. Okay, now, there are general rules of converting active voice to passive voice. The active voice focus on the person who does not, uh, who does the action, that means the subject performs the action. In active voice, the doer of the action or the subject becomes the receiver, 
which is now part of the predicate in the passive voice. Number two, used is, am, are, was, were, being, being, plus past participle according to the tense, plus put by before the direct object in the passive voice. What is by plus? Okay, by is the prepositional phrase, part of the prepositional phrase. Okay, class, I'm going to give you another example. Hernan cooked the rice. Where is the direct object again, class? Okay, the direct object is the rice. How can you tell that it is a direct object? Yes, it can, it answers the questions what? And it has a transitive verb. In this given example class, Hernan cooked the rice. Where is the direct object class? Yes, rice is the direct object. Why you can say it is a direct object? Again, because it is the doer of the action. I uh, know, rather, it answers the questions. What? Okay. Now, class, if the direct object rice converted into a passive voice, it becomes the subject. The active voice is a subject that performs the action by the verb. For example, Hernan cooked the rice. Who is the subject that performs action by the verb? The rice, the direct object. It performs the action by the verb. Now, class. Example, my mother buy the dress. My mother buy the dress. My mother is the doer and the subject. My mother is the subject and the verb is the buy and the direct object is the dress. Now, class, give me another example. Yes. Now, explain who, what part of speech is the father is. Part of speech. Father is a part of speech, a noun phrase. No, it is a subject. Yes, now, you can identify the subject only if it is a pronoun or a noun. Subject as a noun and subject as a pronoun. Now, active voice. Now, let's proceed to the passive voice. Now, please read everyone. Yes, passive voice is used when we want to emphasize the action, the verb and the object of the sentence rather than the subject. Example, the dress was bought by my mother. In this example class, where is the subject? Yes, the subject was the mother. But when you are converting the active voice into the passive voice, the subject were going to become the receiver of the action. Okay? Now, for example, in this text, receiver of the action, what plus was or were plus participle of the verb plus by plus the subject. The passive voice example, the rice was cooked by Hernan. No? The rice was the, sub, uh, the receiver of the action plus auxiliary, the was plus main verb, the cook. How can you identify if it is the main verb? It is a main verb when the verb is followed by the other verb. Then the verb after the other verb calls the auxiliary or the was. Now, where is the subject class? The subject is Hernan and the direct object is the rise. When you are going to convert the uh, active to the passive voice, the subject are going to the last part of the sentence. Now, are you ready? If you are ready now, class, uh, let's apply what you have learned. Let's proceed to the group activity. This group activity, you are given a differentiated activity. For the group one, construct three sentences with active voice of verb. If in for the group two, uh, identify the subject, the verb, and the object. For the group 3, rewrite the sentence changing the voice from active to passive. For the group 4, report the output to the class. 
and for the group 5, evaluate the correctness of the answer. Okay, let's start last. You'll only be given 10 minutes to prepare and, or rather, you're only given 10 minutes, 5 minutes to prepare and 5 minutes to perform or to this to report your task. The timer starts now, okay? Time's up. Now show me your output plus okay all the group all the group did job well done now let's proceed to the generalization i'm going to ask you class if you really understand our topic what is the active voice again the active voice is a subject that performs the action by the verb now can we change every sentence into passive voice okay no we cannot change every sentence into passive voice it depends to the sentence now for our evaluation i'm going to distribute you a uh, for evaluation i'm going to distribute you a uh, materials that you are going to answer you are only given five minutes to answer and if it is Time to pass, pass your paper, and I'm not going to collect those who are late. Okay, time's up. Now, here's the answer, okay. Who got the perfect score class? Okay, all the class, I think he got the prize score, or all of you got perfect. Now, for our assignment, in a one whole sheet of paper, in your activity notebook, draw a Venn diagram and differentiate statements are formed for both active and passive. Please refer the answer through your life experience. Thank you and for listening and goodbye.